Hi guys, today we're going to cover electric charge. We're going to talk about uh, the two types of charge, how you detect charge, and electric fields. There are two types of electric charge, positive and negative. Charge is measured in coulombs. Like charges repel and opposite charges attract. So if you had something like a balloon uh, and another balloon next to it, now, if they were both positively charged, they would repel. But if you had uh, a positive and negatively charged balloon, uh, they would attract. So how do you detect electric charge? Well, in the laboratory, you can use a piece of equipment called a gold leaf electroscope. Now, how the gold leaf electroscope works is, you've got a metal cap, and if the metal cap becomes positively or negatively charged, the, the metal cap is connected to a wire here, and that will charge here as well. The gold leaf also becomes uh, charged. Whatever the charge is on here, the gold leaf will also have the same charge. So the gold leaf will repel uh, from the uh, charge that's here. Now, the gold leaf electroscope, it can detect charge, but it can't tell you uh, whether the charge is positive or negative. Now, Surrounding a positively charged object, there's an electric field, and that electric field uh, moves outwards from the positive charge. Whereas something that's negatively charged, the electric field goes inwards. And the reason there's the arrows, the arrows show you which direction a positive charge would go. So a positive charge would, if there was a positive charge here, it would be repelled and move in this direction. If there was a positive charge here, it would be attracted to the negative and move in this direction. And here we've got an object with no charge, so there's no field around it. Now, if you've got two parallel metal plates and you give uh, one of them a positive charge, uh, the other a negative charge, uh, so this side is positive, this side's negative, the electric field moves from the positive to the negative plate. So if you've had a positively charged uh, particle inside, it'd be attracted towards the negative. Conductors and insulators. Conductors, such as metals, have free electrons that let charges pass through them, whereas within insulators, the electrons are bound to the atoms and are not free to move. So here in our diagram, the red little dots they're representing uh, metal ions, so positively charged uh, atoms within a metal. The little blue dots are representing electrons that are free to move within the, the metal and conduct electricity through them.